Now, lots of people struggle with keyword research and putting a content strategy together. So I'm going to talk you through how to do that using Athletes Brew as an example. They sell Guayusa tea and loose leaf products. So that means that from a Google perspective and a human perspective, we need a solid base of Guayusa content, which we don't currently have. So let's figure out which keywords we need to target and which content to produce. For that, I use Ahrefs Keyword Explorer. It's the best tool for keyword research. And you can just put in your head term up here and it's going to spit out all kinds of data. Now, this also ranks for report is going to be super handy in a moment. But first, let's focus on the Guayusa content base that we need to create. And this having same terms report is awesome because it tells you every single keyword on the planet that has Guayusa in it, along with the keyword difficulty and search volumes. Now, I don't actually use Ahrefs for my uh, analysis and selections. We've built an internal tool for that. And if you're a member of the 90 day SEO program, you will have access to this. But basically, it gives us a top down view of topics, their average difficulty of search volume, and then the keywords within those topics that we need to target target. And from there, then we can make our selections and our observations and move forward with creating the content. So um, if we look at the final strategy tab here, you'll see I already made some selections. Now these are Guayusa T side effects, the benefits, what is Guayusa T and Guayusa T versus another product. These are all the types of content that customers are going to want to see and it's going to help their buying decisions. And they're also super easy to rank for. And it's going to tell Google that we are all about Guayusa. So there's going to be no stone left unturned with that. So, um, when I'm planning content, uh, it's really important to know how much resource each piece of content is going to need. So you'll see here, I've already calculated how many words are required. How? Well, our writing team uses Surfer SEO and it allows you to put in your target keyword. It's going to go out and spider all of the search results and then it's going to come back and say, if you want to rank, this is a type of content you need to write. These are all the terms it needs to include. These are all the headings. This is how much word count it needs and everything like this. It's really um, paint by numbers for creating highly optimized content straight out of the gate. Now, while it's nice to rely on automated tools, you also have to use the power of observation and you're nogging a little bit as well, right? What I always do is I do a manual Google search of each term just to see what I see. Now, let me show you why it was important in this case. I was going to create a Guayusa T side effects article and a Guayusa T benefits article, two separate pieces of content, one 1,700 words, one 1,600 words, and that was a plan. But if we do a search in Google, you'll see Guayusa T, C, Guayusa T side effects. And if you look at the title here, Guayusa benefits, side effects, and more. Guayusa T benefits, side effects, and preparations. What is Guayusa benefits, side effects? Guayusa T benefits, side effects. Organic Guayusa T uses ben so. What Google's telling us here is it does not want a separate article for effects, uh, sorry, for benefits and side effects. It wants one article that combines both. If we do the search for Guayusa T benefits, we see the same thing, right? Benefits, side effects, benefits, side effects. It's benefits, side effects. Just from the power of observation, we know that Google does not want two separate articles discussing the benefits and the side effects. It has to be one. But if we'd have just relied on tools and automation, we wouldn't have made that discovery, right? So it's very important when you come to making your selections and creating content that you actually do a search in Google and use your own eyes and the power of observation to see what Google actually wants. This is an output of the algorithm. This is Google telling you what they want. So all you need to do is figure out what they want and then give it to them. That's it, right? Um, so it, it, it's very important that you pay attention to that. Now. Once we've created this base set of content um, that, that we're planning to create, you'll see the search volumes aren't all that attractive because it's, it's, it's a relatively unknown product, right? So how can we bridge that gap? 
how can we now, now we've got a base of Guayosa content, how can we go to the next level and start attacking more relevant keywords? Well, before I told you about this also ranks for report. Basically what this says is these, if, if sites are ranking for this keyword, they're also ranking for these keywords. So we can go view all and we can take a look at some of the other keywords and search volumes and things like that. Okay, it's a little slow to load, but I found one earlier, for example, coffee alternative. Not many people are searching for Guayusa, the actual product, but many people are searching for the problem, which is they want a healthier alternative to coffee and Guayusa is that solution. So, once you've built, and, and this is a mistake many people make, many people would go after these bigger, more attractive keywords from the get-go before establishing a base of content, a base of a foundational base of content that's relevant to their product, service, and audience. So please make sure you build the content that your readers want, that's also getting searched for, that assists in conversions. Once you've got that foundation base of content, don't pay attention to search volume. Just make sure you're giving Google what it needs and the humans what it needs so they know that your website's about Guayusa or whatever it is. Then once that's in place, you can layer it up with other layers of content targeting other relevant keywords like this one, right? Coffee alternative, maybe energy drink alternatives. Um, Guayoa versus coffee uh, and, and lots of other keywords here and if we go back into this Ahrefs report now we can see green the, 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 they're talking about green tea, yerba mate and lots of other ideas that we can then jump into and create more content casting a wider net to catch people from Google.